A question from a viewer. How do I know which accolades and awards that lawyers put on their websites are real and which are not? And should it really matter to me when selecting an attorney? I say that in general, it shouldn't really matter. And here is why. Most lawyers delegate much of what's on their website to marketing companies who build really sharp websites with all kinds of flattering information, some of which might be more true than others in order to attract potential clients because that's their job. It doesn't really say anything good or bad about the attorney who hired those marketing companies. Often lawyers themselves don't even know everything that's posted on their own website because they don't handle it. Therefore, you should not be evaluating a lawyer based on their website one way or another. Building a great website is a very different skill from handling any type of legal case. Also, some of the best lawyers that I have ever known have a very modest website, and some of them don't even have a website at all. They don't care. They're not concerned about their online presence, and they often don't even have time to think about it. Work comes to them from all kinds of directions, maybe primarily from referrals from other attorneys, and uh, they're super selective about the cases they take, probably only taking 5% or less of the cases that come into their door. And this brings me back to my main point. The single best way to find a good attorney today is the same way that it was for the last 100 years, and it's the same way that's the best for finding a good dentist or a good accountant or whoever else through word of mouth from the people who, whose opinion you trust. It could be your friend. It could be your, your coworker. It could even be an attorney who you trust but who doesn't practice in the relevant area of law, who knows some other attorney who he has had good experience with and who can provide you with the appropriate referral. Yelp and other review sites are probably second best, but you gotta be careful and you gotta watch for fake reviews because if someone sounds too good to be true, they might just be. Now, one more thing. Just because someone won a $50 million case and put it on their website, doesn't mean that they're the best lawyer for you. You need to know that many of these lawyers who get these huge awards, they focus very narrowly on two or three cases that they handle that are bigger than other cases, while often neglecting dozens of other cases that they handle. And I've seen it so many times. A potential client calls and says, hey, my lawyer doesn't return my calls and my emails. My case hasn't moved in a year. I don't know what's going on. It looks like he doesn't care. And then I ask that potential client, who is your lawyer? And when I hear the name, I'm thinking, how is this possible? This is one of the most famous lawyers in the community who has such an impressive reputation. This happened many times because of this reality that these lawyers can only focus this much on one to three cases at a time, at most, potentially at the expense of many other cases.